morning, Pink Girly here, or as I'm normally called, Lori. This is the Pink Girly channel. This is the live stream. And I'm going to do an art journal page today. And I'm going to see if I can find myself on my phone. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There I am. I've got my sound down. I should be able to see chat okay, though. Just have this in case I need to figure out if I've got a troll, you know, a troll. Well, I hope everyone's doing well, waiting for some folks to maybe pop in. Good morning, and me. Happy Sunday. Happy May. Can you believe it's May? May is a busy month for my family. We have my youngest sister's anniversary, her birthday, her husband's birthday, my son's birthday, my granddaughter's birthday. <sighs> and I'm probably forgetting something. May. May 1st. Goodness, goodness, goodness. As they say, time flies. Good morning, Devin. Nice to see you. It's very nice here. I know, right? May is a busy month. And it's funny, they're all kind of clumped together. My sister's birthday, well, my granddaughter's birthday is the 21st. My sister's is the 22nd. And my son and my brother-in-law are the 25th. So I don't know what that's all about, but anyway, I'm just going to jump in as people start coming in. I am meeting with my neighbor today. She's uh, got a new iPad. Good morning, Re. And she's 93 and uh, she's trying to learn some different things. And uh, I'm going to give her a lesson. So I need to do that when I'm done streaming. So I'm going to be on here for maybe about two hours. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can get something finished. Uh, but I've been watching some of Shannon Green's uh, older videos. I really, really didn't know about Shannon Green until maybe about, mm, oh gosh, maybe eight months to a year ago. I'm like, who is this Shannon Green that everybody's talking about? And you know how sometimes when you watch a video and then you don't turn it off or go to the next thing, um, YouTube will just load up another video. One of her videos came up and I thought, oh, I need to start watching some of her stuff. So I did. And she was doing uh, some simple backgrounds with watercolor on this particular video. So I tried that. She just used, was using markers. So I'm going to do that too. And... Um, I know, right? She's got a lot of cool stuff that she does. So this is a little, oh, where's my, when I first started with uh, journaling, art journaling and whatnot, I, I found this little tiny journal that I purchased. It's leather. It's green. Green's my favorite color. I mostly had to have it because of the way that it latches here on the front, which, you know, really is annoying it's, it's really not that great but it looks cute and it's got these little tiny you know books in it and of course this is all old stuff right and it had gone missing for quite a while i just found it in my one drawer and then i watched this video that shannon did and she had taken an old uh, planner and uh, started doing some coloring on her pages. Now, the one I haven't watched, she did a lot of darker colors with wax to co cover up her writings. I didn't care so much about that. But the other one she did was with just watercolor markers. And uh, so I started to do some of these pages. So I was fussing around with that yesterday. And then I thought, well, maybe I could do that as a background for one of my journal pages and then sketch something and then paint. And then I had picked up on clearance this package of, um, oh gosh, what just happened to my, 
Oh, there we go. A package of these envelopes. Now, they're not really, I wouldn't call them waxy, but they were like $1.24 at um, Hobby Lobby. There was no tag on them as far as like what they are. I don't think they're, they're not glassine, I don't think. But I was messing around this morning with some watercolor markers on the bag. And I thought that turned out cute too. You know? Shannon is just like, I haven't watched a lot of her yet. But she's, not only has that great little southern accent. She's funny. But she's so clever and ingenious, right? She's she's an idea girl. I, I have an idea occasionally. I don't consider myself an idea girl. I consider myself a good copier. Like I can watch somebody do something and pretty much do it. Good morning, Barbara. Nice to see you. So... I'm going to copy Shannon this morning, hopefully. So, I'm going to use... Well, anyway, then then also I thought, well, I want to draw... I want to um, do a little uh, easy background and then maybe sketch something and then paint. And I have this book. I don't even remember where I got it. I can't imagine I paid full price for it. But I just love it. And I love the images in it. I think I showed it once before. Karen O'Brien. It's by Karen O'Brien. Imaginary characters. Mixed media painting techniques for figures and faces. Of course, I haven't read anything. Right? This is something Shannon. I think Shannon and I would get along very well. <laughs> Barb said, if I had an idea, it would be lonely. Well, I'm with you on that one. And um, I didn't read anything, but I just look at the pictures and then I try to figure out if I can do it similar. So I think what I want to do is draw something like this little gal here today. I love how this lady's characters, her imaginary characters are all, um, their eyes are like far apart. They're just, oh my gosh, they're just adorable. I just love them. Look at the little hats and stuff she puts on them. So I, I do plan to read some of these articles, but I didn't read in preparation for today. So as usual, I'm going to fly by the seat of the pants. And now I know this white is going to probably be problematic. I have Timmy's glass mat. But see, if I put color on here, you're not really going to see it. What Shannon did was she took a plastic Ziploc bag and she put her marker color on that spritzed it with water and then put her pages down and picked up um, the uh, color but I thought if I have a glass mat I should be able to use that so yesterday I was messing around and I used my Timmy glass mat here which worked really well and over here on the side if you're not familiar with it he's got this white section but I can't, I don't think I can, I can't get my camera, the arm is not long enough to come over on top of this part, right? So I picked this up a little while ago at uh, Goodwill. I'm always looking for trivets like this or a plate um, or something that I can use as a palette to mix paint on. So today I'm going to use this. And I've been fussing around with some of my different markers. Now, I just need a place to put my book here for a minute because I'm going to need that as a um, as a uh, visual so I can kind of, you know, copy what Karen O'Brien does in her book. I've got my coffee here and I'm going to try to have sips of coffee before it gets too cold. Now I've got my now Shannon used it looked like what she was using uh, just those um, oh, Crayola markers um, Sharpie, uh, not Sharpie the um, 
oh gosh, Didi uses them all the time. Uh, bah, 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 bah. The name's not coming to me. They got, I've got them sitting here next to me too. They've got that, um, oh gosh, what is it? Cheers, Devin. <laughs> no, not Poskas. They're like watercolor. They're cheap. You can get a hundred of them for like 20 bucks at Walmart. Hey, Marty. Good morning. I hope I haven't missed anybody. Okay. I was working on a song this morning and uh, I thought I should sing to those who uh, are lurking. Come out, come out. Yes. Super tips. There you go, Devin. I knew you would get it. Wherever you are and join the old lady who arcs from afar. And then I thought, well, arts is going to sound like farts, so maybe I better not sing it. Yes, yeah, so I think Shannon was using super tips. I have, Icy is here. Good morning, Icy. I discovered that I have a set of Arteza real brush pens. And I discovered I have two sets. So I divided some. I'm going to give give my dupes to my daughter. So I'm just going to do a sample here. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to do another a little pocket envelope there to show you what I'm doing. And then I'm going to try to do my journal page. And then sketch a cute little figure. And I think I'm going to use acrylic paints to, to paint my little person. So that's my plan. So I hope everyone's doing well. As you're coming in, I'm just going to get started here. As I slurp another sip of coffee. Now Shannon <clears throat> used, as I said, a plastic like Ziploc bag, which, you know, you certainly can do. And she crisscrossed a lot of her colors. And then she said she had a fix for if the colors um, got muddy. But she kind of went over top of different the different colors that she was using. And then she would just use a paper towel to pick up the mess. But I, when I was messing around with this yesterday, I am not crisscrossing. I didn't crisscross my color so much. I'm just laying them down. And I apologize for this scraping noise because I'm digging through my bin. Now, certainly, if you were working on a certain project in a certain book or had a certain color scheme, you know, you would pick out those colors. Excuse me. Okay, Marty's lurking. Probably Dev is going to lurk. That's, that's all good. It's all good. I appreciate you being here. I'm looking for maybe some other. Oh, here, let's get a little, let's get a little dark blue in here. So to avoid making the colors get muddy, I'm not crisscrossing. I'm just making a scribble, scribble mess. And I know I've got a glare there on my surface. But once again, Lori hasn't. Now my husband's off for a few days. So maybe Lori's brain will kick in and she'll ask her husband if he's got any ideas on how to fix the glare. I do have purple in there. A lot of these colors are a little bit the same. What else do I think I need here? I really like the hot pinks and the, oh, I don't have any orange. Oh my gosh, I just love orange these days. Somebody has snacks? Somebody has snacks? Oh, thanks, Amy. Appreciate that. Okay, so then all she did was she just scribbled her different colors of marker on her plastic bag. I'm using a glass trivet. She took water because these are water markers. And then she just put down her paper. So I'm just going to put down my envelope. 
Now you could probably do what Dee Dee does too. Do the what does she do? The smack and drag. Now I'm gonna hit this with my heat gun. So I'm guessing the same thing might work if you had um, like some coffee made up. I have coffee in my fridge because not everybody's into this bright color look, you know. And certainly you could, I'm just going to put this over to the side here. I don't want to, I'm going to use the rest of this on the flip side of my bag here. It's going to dry that a little bit. And then what Shannon was saying in like a little book, like I showed you just a few minutes ago, because it's watercolor, it doesn't take that long for the pages to dry. So then you can move on to the next page. Now, I don't know if you can see here. Let me move, see if I can move this up to the camera. See how when I slap that down, some of those colors mixed and kind of got muddy. So Shannon, all she said to do was just take, you know, a paper towel and just scoop that out. And then put down some other color. Now, isn't she a genius, right? So now I'm going to use the rest of this. It's still pretty wet on the flip side of my bag. This one I'm going to drag a little. And squish it around. It'll squish you. It. So it's really almost kind of like a, a jelly plate. Well, you know, a plate. I'm going to pick up some of that other stuff. Now, I could have wiped that off and start again, but mm, I hate to waste. I hate to waste, okay? So let me just dry this. And then once this dries, you can add on top. Now, of course, you have to remember that if you're going to use this as a base and then do other mixed media stuff on top of it, the watercolor is going to run unless you use something like Hey, Stephanie G, good morning. I want you to use something like a, um, ink tent watercolor. Then once it dries, it's permanent, and then you're good to go. So I think it's cool. Now this I could certainly add to it. But even something simple like this, you could come in and stamp on it. Let's just do that. I have my, because I'm going to do some stamping. Now, let me let me throw these back. Now, I'm going to do more. But let's just take it the next step. Now, this isn't real dry, guys. And this is a stays on. This is my stays on ink pad. Midnight blue. Love the midnight blue. And I'm just going to take a script stamp. And, you know, you could use anything. Now, this is a pretty tall bag. This is a five by nine, I think, when I measured it. It's what it is. But just real quick, you know, this would be a cute addition to a journal. And, of course, you could do a lot more to it than this. You know, you could put it in a journal this way, cut your edges. Make a couple of pockets. You could trim the bottom to fit it in. Or if you have a larger journal, you know, this would hold some a nice size tag for you if you had a journal that size. And of course, you could art more on there, add some other ephemera. 
um, glue some stuff down, you know, so of course, you know, like anything else, it's endless what you can do, right? So then I'm going to show you what I'm doing in my little tiny book here. And then you just take a paper towel. Now this is dried. So I'm going to take my paper towel. And clean up my little... Thank you, Barb. Thanks to me. And let's see. Where did I stuff my little book? Here it is. So I still have more pages in my little... And I don't know what I'm going to do with this book. But it, they were just sitting in a drawer. And... You know, it's a calendar that I used a couple years ago. But it's so cute, right? It's just so little and cute. I, I just, I can't, I have a hard time throwing stuff away. So I'm going to show you just, uh, let's see. Let's use a couple of super tips. Some of you may have super tips. And then I went and found, when I started to look at my markers, I discovered I had some Bible journaling markers. Who knew? So let's just pick out some random colors. Now, anybody that's got the super tips, you might know they're not named. And they're not numbered. So I can't tell you you know, what, uh, what I'm using here. But these are very reasonable. And like Shannon said, you could uh, raid your kids' markers. I also discovered rummaging through my marker drawer that I have some... Uh, Prisma markers, but I think they might be alcohol. I didn't try those. I think I need, need some brighter orange here. Maybe some lime green. Um, I have my Tombows work just okay. But that, again, depends on the set of Tombows you might have. I have Tombow markers. I forgot I had. Shocker. Now, this is way too much for my little book, but I'm just giving you an idea. And what else did I try? I tried something else. Oh, I have some of the Timmy Distress, but I only have a couple of those. So there again, you're going to put your markers down any way that you want. And you're going to spray on some water. So you can see them starting to work together. And then just lay down whatever it is you're wanting to use as a back, you know, as a background. I think it's very, very clever and really cute. And then, of course, Lori doesn't want to wipe that up and throw it away, so she's going to use it on another page. And it's really easy. Now, I guess, now I tried one where I just, like, striped the colors. And that worked out okay, too. Now, I have a girlfriend named Jean. And I don't know if Jean's in here. Jean, if you're in here, come and say hello. She's just new to uh, mixed media type stuff and she gets nervous. So if you're one of those folks that are a little intimidated by a blank surface, but you, you're just new or you're just learning and um, maybe you don't have a lot of supplies, this is an easy way, you know, to get started and um see now that was the second pickup that's not bad right 
or maybe have some markers that now Shannon said when her markers start to get dry, what she does is she'll take, oops, sorry guys. She'll take um, a pair of tweezers and pull the nib out and soak the nib and get a little in a little bit of water and get some more color out of it. So I don't know what kind of uh, background I really wanted to do for my project today. And I thought this might work because then as I looked at Karen O'Brien's book, which this is what I want to recreate, the background kind of reminds you of that. Now she's got book pages under there. Now I hadn't thought about book pages or putting anything underneath like that. And then even I've not really tried drawing on top of that kind of stuff. Right. So I was kind of just, I think I'm going to stick with my plan. I'm just going to put the watercolor on the background. And then I think I'm going to do my drawing, paint it, and then I think I'm going to stamp. So I'm going to see if I have time for that. All right. So I am going to use. Um, now, this is a lot smaller than my page in my book. So I'm going to have to overlap maybe or, or do a couple of. Um, a couple of passes here. And I really like the oranges. I've got a gold, kind of brownie gold color. Yellow. Lavender is always good. And I think the super tips, a lot of times, there's they give you two of some of the colors. But you can't really tell because, like I said, they're not marked. All right, here's some like hot pink ones. See, some of these are really close in color. Mm, maybe I'll have to have some lime green. Okay, let me try. Now I'm going to fill up this whole area because my um, page is large in my journal now this guy he's 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 about he's about had it that lime green guy he's uh i think he's on his way out he's on his way out he's on his way out so what's everybody else doing Anybody doing? Anybody working? What's Ree working on? Ree's working on something. I know she's working on something. Oh, I don't care for that color so much. Let's get some purple in here. I love purple and green together. Yellow. My granddaughter's favorite color. I didn't pick up any blue. See if this purple oh yeah now now we're talking now we're talking that's the kind of purple we're talking i need to find maybe another limey green limey green color a bit of a bright green Ooh. See, because they're watercolor, they're beating up and they're kind of staying juicy. You know, if you did this with alcohol, I guess you could reactivate it with a little spritz of alcohol. Okay, Dev says, I am coloring an Alice page for my friend's hashtag. Oh, Alice? Alice in Wonderland? That sounds coolio. All right, so I have my 
Okay, I hope I have enough room to do this. <laughs> all right, so I'm spritzing on my water. Let those kind of move together a little bit. I'm going to move my bin out of the way. I've got my paintbrushes there. See, now this is the size of my book. So let's see. I'm just going to put it down. So I got a little muddiness. Oops. Sorry for that horrible noise. Let me see if I can pick up that muddiness over here a little bit. I'm going to try this and then I'm going to reload my palette and try to get the rest of that page. But I think that looks very really pretty. I don't know how it's looking for you guys. It looks okay on my um, iPhone. On my computer screen, not so much. Now, this is just a journal I picked up, oh gosh, quite a while ago at, uh, I think, a five below. I don't know if everybody has a five below available to them. All right, so let me put this aside now. And I'm going to wipe up this. And let's go again. So now I'm thinking, and Devin, you can probably answer this. This probably would work on the jelly plate too, right? If I just took markers and scribbled on a jelly plate. That's kind of that muted purple. Now, this is hard for me not to be real anal. I didn't pay attention to how I put my colors down before. Devin said, yes, that probably would work. I'm starting to get itchy to get my jelly plate out again. Now, of course, I only need to pick up for the page I'm working on today. I've just needed a little bit more. Around the edges. I thought I was closer into the center than I was. Do my spritz a doodle, spritz a doodle. No, I haven't. In me, I'll have to check that out. I saw um, Shannon do. I think it wasn't too long ago. She she made a book with um, the bags of. Uh, candy packaging those lint truffle candy type things oh my gosh it was so stinking adorable okay so i'm going to try to get the crease of my book and the around the bottom so let me move this over see see a lot of wiggle times here see you don't have to be make yourself crazy and have to hurry, which is also something I really like. 
cool, right? I just really like this a lot. I like it a lot. And I'm not paying attention right now. If anybody's come in and I've missed. Oh, I hope my page didn't fold up. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, sorry. Hit the camera. All right. Now I'm going to twirl this. So I know a lot of times, like my girlfriend, she'll think, oh, you know, I don't really have a lot of that stuff. But she's got markers, and certainly everyone's got a, a plastic bag, right? Like a Ziploc bag or some kind of plastic bag. And it doesn't have to be plain. I mean, plain is nice because you can see your coloring, but even a bread bag, right? You could even use a bread bag. Oh, you have, Stephanie? Did you like it? Stephanie said she's tried this idea from Shannon. I should have tried to get that corner. But I'm going to live with it the way that is. Now I'm going to dry. <clears throat> yeah, it is pretty cool. Hey, this is Carol. Hi, Carol. And of course, I guess you can come in and um, use color pencil or, you know, if you wanted to increase or intensify some of this color. I'm just going to, I want to draw on this. So I want to, I know the white is terrible for the camera. I'm really liking this a lot, girls. I'm really liking it a lot. In fact, you know what? I said I was going to deal with it, but I'm lying to you. I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going to do a little. I'm going to do a little bit more just for this corner. Let's do a little orange. And we'll do some green. And I'm going to add this pink and purple. Okay, let me see what Barb is telling me here. The Magical Touch Studio, Lori asked what we were doing. So I said in chat I was making clusters because you did this morning. Oh, very good. Oh, I love making clusters. Carol, I was surprised it was your first time to be making clusters. You did great. Okay, some of that got a little muddy. All right, this is probably not going to go well because I'm going to flip this. And just try to hit that spot. Earworm. What is a T? Marty said she just got an earworm. Okay, so that's okay. It's not the best. I know, right, Marty? She said it was her first time at doing clusters. Who knew? Who knew? Okay, right, let's try this. So now I don't have that white corner. Hi, Auntie Brown. You're in Cherokee, North Carolina. That's cool. I hope you're having nice weather. Yeah, earworm when somebody puts a song in your head, but what earworm did Marty get? Or did she just ask me what an earworm is? All right, now, let's see. Let's see. Let's move the brushes off to the side. You know, I think I have everything arranged so well before I come on. And then, eh, I don't. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to attempt to, to mimic. Of course, it's not going to be the same. But I love the little flower she has on her head. 
and I love that um, her head's kind of round. But I love their eyes are way off to the side. I'm usually not too good with noses and such, but this is what I'm going to try to draw on my page, and then hopefully the sun is shining. Wonderful. Okay, Ange, have a great time. Good for you. Does the ear won't dance to the music? I think it might. I think it might. I think it just might. Okay. So this little gal, where can I put her so I can kind of keep an eye on her? If I put her up here on my keyboard, I know this is really a mess for you guys to be watching. All right. So I'm just going to, I just really start to sketch. Now, I don't think my book is going to. Let's get these here markers out of the way. That might be a good thing. And got those there. Let's see if I put this. I hope this isn't too distracting if I put it here. Now, of course, my page is curling a little bit. But that might settle down. Now, I just really... Christine G. Hi, Christine. Good morning. Uh, let's see here. I just usually use a little, you know, cheap throwaway mechanical pencil to do my little sketch. And I know I've had a couple of them sitting here. There's one. All right. Dev's making more coffee. Deb, can you heat mine up while you're there? I'd appreciate that. Mm. Mine's still just a little warm. Okay, I'm going to go for it. All right, so I'm just going to make a little circle. That's not so little. Her head's bigger than I, I really wanted, but that's all right. And I'm going to make a circle here. And we've got petals coming out the top. And you guys probably can't see this. And then I'm going to make her eyes way over here to the side of her head. I erase a lot. And she's really got a big head, this little sweetie pie. She's got a big head, she does. I think I want my eyes a little more curved, perhaps. So, you know, when I'm sitting and sketching at night, I'll just put in my basic shape. And then I like to use those little blender things to blend the charcoal right there's about her nose and I do a lot with the charcoal now she's just got little circles here for little half half circles for her eyes I'm missing chat here oh what's the matter we say poor Marty what Marty Celio oh dear bye oh Marty's got to go bye Barb, Lori asked if you would put up Shannon's info. Oh, I did? I don't know if Barb knows how to do that. I don't know how to do it. Uh, that's why I asked so other people can find her. I saw a mini accordion sketch book recently. Oh, where did you see that, Re? That sounds interesting. Okay, her eyes are really not um, quite right, but that's okay. I know this is going to be different. It's just the basic. Oh, Lori loves here. Thanks, Lori. I 
question say hello Lori hello hello all right so let's give this little gal a little more shape to her head here give her a little chinny chin chin and we'll do this little thing here on her nose And hmm. she's got a little can you start can you see maybe a little bit of this coming out? She's got her little ears here, her little jug handle ears. Shoop, shoop. Your ears are different from each other. That's okay. I really can't believe I'm doing this live, actually. <laughs> but it's just imaginary. It's just a little imaginary. The girl's channel was waffles in it. She's a great cartoon type artist. Her real name is Rin. Oh, I'll have to find that. Okay, so her lips kind of go like that. And then you've got the little down party thing here and the little bottom lip thing. I love how her little shirt looks like the top of a castle kind of thing, a little sand castle type thing. And then she's got little swirlies out of her shoulder. We'll just see what, what we end up with. This is all very quick. Oh, I was wondering that too, Devler. Is it official? Are you retired? Okay, so I could add other things. My eyes don't look as dreary as hers. Okay. Not yet, May 13th, but only six days to work in those two weeks. Nice, Laura. Okay, I think that'll do me for now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my palette here. Now I've I've talked before about a, a gal by the name of um, Tamara Laporte. She does a whimsical painting and drawing excuse me that's my trivet that's not me that's my trip that's not me that's my trivet and um she uses the tombos like a watercolor on her pieces but i i can't get i can't get the tombos to really move for me but i also can't get my white posca pen to move either but she uses uh, a mixture of acrylics and such on some of her faces. And she uses a, which I really like, a, a Santa blush, which I forget what brand it is, in acrylic paint. Mm, that's, I think I'm all out of it. I'm going to go with this, um, and I'm going to kind of water down these, um, oh, I know, I love, if you don't know Tamara Laporte, you need to look her up on uh, YouTube, love her stuff, she's, she's Fabaruni. She's Fabaruni. Now, 
to find a brush. So I, I put a call in for my dentist yesterday. He never called back, so I guess they didn't. They weren't working. So my face and all still hurts. Thanks, Laura. Thank you. I haven't really been able to follow Tam too much lately, so I don't know if she's like moved into a different direction. Or if she's still. So I'm just. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. So that other one is a good link. So then I was looking up about. You know if you have a bridge put in. And you're having problems. You know what that could. Turn into or mean. Because, you know, when they cement that in your head, they cement that in there, you know, it's supposed to last several years. So I don't think they're going to be able to take it out. So we'll see. But I've been keeping the discomfort at bay with um, ibuprofen. All right, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just doing what I feel like doing. So I'm just taking a little bit of this acrylic paint. It's kind of watered down. I don't want to necessarily get rid of all these really neat colors that we put down initially. So I'm just getting some little flesh, kind of hints of a flesh tone on her skin. But you can still see the watercolor. And it's you know what? It's really not moving too much. You know, it's not like um, all of a sudden she kind of looks like a lizard. Yeah, I would like to know that too, Barb. I don't know how to do it either. Isn't that silly? All right. Now, her hair is light. But I don't know if I'm going to go that light. Um, actually, I think I want her hair to be a different color. Maybe I want her hair to be blue. Because I don't have much blue on the page. So I'm going to use a little blue harbor. Lori say oh she didn't answer and again I'm going to add I've got a lot of water in my brush so I'm almost making the acrylic paint like a watercolor um, acrylic paint is my comfort zone I really don't know much about watercolors how they work i always use them too heavy oh i'm going to read that later lori because i need to know how to do that too Now, I'm going to be doodling. I might not get to doodle everything today. And I think I'm going to keep the uh, pinkish, reddish color on the dress. I like that. So, let's see here. I've got tomato red. I love me some tomato red. I love it.
I actually was using paints the other day and I actually cleaned up and put all my paints away. I was so proud of myself. Now this little dress is not exactly like the dress in the picture. I don't want to copy totally. Yeah, a lot of people are, uh, maybe I shouldn't say a lot of people, some people that I've, I know have kind of been a little nervous or worried about retirement, you know, and they didn't know what they were going to do and a little freaked out about it. But, you know, it, it wasn't the case for me. I was, I was ready. In fact, I think I would have been okay never working. Because I could always occupy myself. Okay, she looked like she's looking like an alien. <laughs> I'm trying to do this fairly quickly so I can get, you know, most of it finished in a stream. I mean, my neighbor knows I'm streaming, but she lives by herself, and, um, you know, she doesn't have much interaction with other folks. She's kind of um, almost like a little shut-in, kind of. So I don't want her to wait too long today. Plus, I think my fillies are playing this afternoon. Oh, that's good, Lore. Lori's saying her pain is tolerable. She's been off for several weeks, so retirement should really help physically for her. That's wonderful. Okay, so we've got the little flower on her head. I'm going to add a little more flesh color here. Just kind of painting it on her mess. If you've ever watched Tamara Laporte Oh my gosh, and she does with, and her paper really gets kind of really wet. Now I'm going to go into some of this pink and try to lighten up, not lighten up, but pink up her, her cheek area. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? It's kind of lightening up, light, lightening, <laughs> I'm not saying that correctly. I just want to add a little color to her cheeks. And then Tamara always. Did she do it? Did she do it? Did Barbie do it? Barb, I never asked you, do you like Barbie? Or I have a cousin, Barbara. We always called her Barbie. So everybody I know, that's Barbara. I want to call Barbie. Okay, let me get a little brush. And let's put in the whites of her eyes. Let's kind of make those pop a little. And then we'll get some eye color in. Now the sample, there's no pupil or anything. It's all, her eye is all one color. Barb, you know, now that you know how to do this, there's no pay raise in, in, uh, involved. Just want to make that clear. Your pay is going to stay the same. Just thought I'd mention that. 
I'm the best boss. <laughs> Can you guys see what I'm doing? Does she really look awful? She'll look better once I get some of this eye in. My paint is kind of damp here on her dress, but it's all right. Okay, let's see how that goes now. What if I should make her eyes blue just because her hair is blue. I can always change it. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. I just love these whimsy people. I think her eyes look um, not even in size. Not that they have to be. Hold, please. Well, she looks all right. Eileen brought up the Johnny Depp trial last week. Darn it. Now I... My son was talking to me about that the other day. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to need a little brun. Lori's calling it. She says he's going to win. I mean, they both, I haven't watched it. Okay, so I can't really say. They both seem like they've, they're really, um, you know, have had difficult lives or they've got issues. I think I've got issues. They've got issues. But she really seems like she needs she needs some serious help. Ami is, says she's obsessed with the cage. She watches it at work and then she finishes it when she comes home. I um I haven't watched it. Yeah, I mean when you I just I did a little bit of reading with some other uh gals that um Johnny has been involved with over his lifetime. And of course, you know, they all could be lying, but they all say the same thing that he's very kind, kind-hearted, considerate. That when they were involved with him, he took care of them. He was never abusive. I mean, usually in stuff like this, if that's not the case, something, you know, usually starts floating to the top and you hear different, you know, stories. But I don't know. This brown's really kind of too dark of a brown for what I'm looking for. Let me get out a different... Um, oh, I don't think I want dark chocolate either. So, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't watched it. Now, usually at this point, I would be flipping my paper around. It's still not a lot lighter.
I just I just want to put a little um, kind of contrast around some of these areas here. I don't know that you really need to do that. I'm just fussing. Eileen was saying um, the other day in, I guess it was Colleen's chat. She can't wait till her takes the stand. And my son was saying he thought maybe Monday she would be on the stand. I'm surprised the whole thing's televised, really. I'm going to flip this a moment. I'm going to do the bottoms of her ears. Some of my brushes need to be replaced, girls. This brush is really, I really like the angle brushes. And this one's really shot. It's shot. They're saying Monday, Tuesday, she will take the stand. Hopefully, because I will. <laughs> I think it's being televised. Will invigorate depth skirt. I always thought um, he, see, I thought he was married to a French lady. So I, I was doing some looking around, but that was, um, I guess he never married her. But that's who he has his children with, had his children with. And um, I always felt like he got ripped off as far as but i'm way over hollywood i haven't followed hollywood stuff in a long long time but i think he's a very talented actor and i think he got ripped off several times as far as you know an academy award that's just my opinion and um i mean those movies where he was um Jack Sparrow. I mean, come on. The guy was fabulous in those. It's fabulous in those movies. Oh, he sings too? Oh, I didn't know he sang. Okay, maybe I'll put a little. Oh, bummer. And me's got to work. To try to get this little gal's nose in here some of her lips oh stephanie g says i had trouble getting into our disney plus the other night because they have had high volume of people watching all of his pirate movies are on mm. Okay, so I think I need some more. I think I took my little. I think I should have a second one. Yeah, here it is. I love these brushes um, that uh, What's Her Face puts out. Isn't that awful? I shouldn't say What's Her Face. Jane Davenport. 
really, really nice brushes. So I'm mixing some of that fleshy color and coming back in here, I'm going to give this gal a little more pink on her, a little bit on her nose. Let's go back in here, do a little bit more here. And I want to do her little lips. Her little lips. I think I just messed up her mouth. And I got too much water. I'm not paying attention. I'm not paying attention. She looks like one of these, one of the ladies you used to see at the Walmart with too much red lipstick. And then, you know, how it bleeds. Those old lips sneak it all. Like blurry. Poor little thing. You girls are going to get me watching that. I wasn't going to watch it. Judy O, how are you? Hope you're having a good day as well. Yes, Barb, I think you are exactly right. That's probably why she's not smiling. She knows she's got lipstick on her teeth. I'd like to fix up this one little spot here. I don't know if I can. I think she does have a little pupil. Let me get some black. I gotta get back to my little gray shack. All right, let's see. I don't think my little girl looks as sad as Karen's little girl. Which I guess that's good. Now, wait a minute. I have to pick this up a little bit. I want to get back to... I think I want to put some color around the rims of her eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, the, mu <laughs> the musical style. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Okay, I have an idea that I want to do, girls, and I just don't know about it. I'm going to do a little recording, and I may choose to send a few of you a recording to see if you think it's, it's something I should do. I don't want to offend anyone, but I just have this streak in me where I just really and truly 
just want to do some kind of, you know, funny video thingy, kind of. Video thingy, kind of. All right, I don't have an angle brush that I can find, and her eyes are still kind of wet, so I better hold off on that. So let's do, let's do some dark blue. I'm just doing some, um, like, shadowing -y kind of. I'm thinking a moon shadow. Moon shadow, moon shadow. I have to make little streak of deeks in her hair here. Little streak of deeks. I haven't done an art page in a while. I'm working on some different projects. Mostly for the market. So, this is like a little play day for me. I wish I could find somebody in my neighborhood who likes to do this kind of art that I could, you know, get together with. My one sister, like I said, has been messing around with watercolor. But she's, she's in like an hour away. I've got to twirl me book. So sorry. And I don't want to set my pages down in the paint. Yusuf Islam. What? I'm missing. I'm missing a lot of chat. It's all right. Chat away. Chat away. Chat away. Barb, what are those words? I've been on a moon shadow. Moon shadow. Moon shadow. I can't tell you how many times a day I think to myself, oh, Barb would know that. Barb would know those lines. Barb would know those words. And then I think I can't bother her because Barb is probably beating wash on a on a rock. Okay. I want a little tiny, I should keep one jar that has all like my favorite little brushes in. Wouldn't that, that would be ingenious, would it not? Would it not be absolutely brilliant? I'm being followed by a moon shadow. Thank you, my dear moon shadow, moon shadow. <laughs> Yes. All right, I'm going to try this darker blue around the rim of, of her eyeballs here. Oh, yes, I like it much better. I do wish I had a British accent. I do, I do, I do. Now, again... My liner brush has gone missing. Oh, there it is. Boy, it's looking. It's a looking a little wonky. A little wonky, she says. Well, I'm not sure what the last comment was, though. That's Cat. Oh, yeah, Cat Stevens. Yes. Morning has broken like the first morning. 
blackbird has spoken. Okay. I think I did that wrong because she only has, oh, fooey dilly. Oh, well. She, I like where she, she only has like, um, the inside corners of the eyes done. Oh, no, I did it right. Okay. All's good. All's good. Okay, let's try. All right, now Stephanie G said she tried um, Shannon Green's technique with the watercolor. Has anybody else tried it? Is anybody going to try it? I'm going to give this little girl some blue wispy thingies here. Little blue wispy thingies here. Now I want to put some, oh, she's looking darling. I almost just put my brush in my coffee. Here's the real question. You've just made a delicious cup of coffee. It's hot. It's piping hot. It's exactly like you like it, whether it's black, whether it has sugar, whether it has creamer. I'm a creamer girl. Okay. And you're just sitting down to take your first sip. And you realize a bug has flown into your coffee. It's a little bug. It's not a fly. It's one of those little, you know, fruit fly thingy bobs, you know, one of those deals. What do you do? I mean, you've not even had a sip. Do you throw it out and make a new cup of coffee or do you fish out the little guy and forget he was there? Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, that has a lot of pink in it. I want to clean it. Drink it. All right, and me. Me too, girl. Drink it. Take it out and drink the coffee. Okay. Woohoo! I am in the right crowd. I am in the right crowd. I'm in with the in crowd. All right, Tam always puts a little bit of a white line on her little girl's faces. All right, and I'm going to dry brush some color down on the tops of these flowers. Let's see, what are we? We're in an hour and a half. It's hard to get all this done. It's a bigger project than you think. Hi, Elise. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Now, I finally found my Stabilo pencils. So I'm thinking I was going to just do Stabilo, like in the pleats of her little dress here. Now, supposedly, I'm going to be able to put water on this and, like, get a little shading. I could have probably used Stabilo in her hair. How about, how about that? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at there. That's Marvy. Woohoo. Groovy.
Oh, wow, that works really well. I could have done that on her hair. Live and learn, live and learn. Okay, you can really see a lot of my pencil lines. I if I can erase some of those out. Some of them I have, um, the paint got on, is on top. Should have erased them before I put paint on them. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Okay, I'm not happy with her nose, but you know what? C'est la vie. C'est la vie. Okay, Laura. Thanks, honey. It's killing me. Aw. Okay, thanks so much, Laura. Have a good afternoon. All right, guys, let's see here. All right, I think I might start me some doodling. Might start me some doodling. So I want to stamp too. Now I don't want to make this too terribly dark here. And I want to put a little bit of flapper girl. <laughs> flapper dapper. Flapper dapper girl. I'm spinning her. See, when I used to paint ceramics, I used to paint a lot of things upside down. just worked better for me i'm trying to remember some stuff that um tam laporte would do to her little girls i think she's cute all right so i'm going to do some outlining and some doodling so let me see if i can quickly grab Now, in this, um, I always want to say sample, but sample is probably not the best word. In the example or the, uh, my, um, Barb, are you, are you leaving? Okay, Barb, I'm going to try to hold it together. She would put stars or something like that on her cheeks. Yes, she might. Or little teardrops or something. She doesn't look that sad though. And she always puts some kind of a butterfly on a shoulder. Now this girl's got some leaves and some squirrely gigs coming out of her shoulder. So that might look cute too. And of course she's got newsprint behind her. So let's just see. Let's see how this And I try not to, to do this um, part she has an Olympic Olympic gymnast in her red <laughs> crunchy <laughs> she's a very talented young gal I'm just gonna make these dots black the artist has I like to make these not real okay so she probably would have 
Well, you know what I also like to do? Now I move some stuff around. I love these Timmy Distress Crayons. Okay, here's True, Conf True Confessions. Laura the Jersey Crafter, when she was streaming, and she would show these dangles that she would do make out of beads and stuff and I really wanted to have one well Laura wasn't into making stuff and selling it and I didn't want to just ask for one because it had a lot of beads and stuff in it so I said to her what if we did a trade what if you traded me one of your bead dangles for this these distress markers because she crayons because she used them and I just didn't know what to do with them. I had a couple sets of them and, and I didn't really know what to do with them. And she said, yeah, she would go for that. So she sent me this beautiful dangle. I have it here somewhere. Here it is. This is what she made for me. She asked me what colors I wanted. Look, it's beautiful. I love it. And I sent her... All the different colors that she didn't have that I had because they were sitting in my drawer, wasn't using them. And then I watched one of her videos, like replayed one of her videos, and I saw how she used them. Oh my gosh. She's a genius. So then I started buying more. <laughs> I had no idea. And this is what she does she would scribble them around or different projects and then she would take a paintbrush or just her wet finger or a um, baby wipe and do like that around her pictures or, or her layouts or whatever she was doing they're absolutely awesome i'm so glad i made the trade All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of orange. I love her. I love her. I love my little girl. You have one too? Do you have one of her little bobble things? Oh, I love mine. I traded with Jersey Crafter, Laura. She, um, I think she's got a new, a new channel name now. Let's see. We'll give her a little heart here. I need to do something with her little mouth. Her little mouth should have a little dibbity thing here. I'm I'm really bad at mouths. I have to I have to practice the mouth thing. And she probably would have. Uh, let's see. Let's go across this way with some black. I am not a, I'm not good at doodling. I have to really think about doodles and work on doodles. But I think some. Uh, I think my. I think this particular marker. Is about out of juice. And I have my markers all stuck. Oh, here's one. Oh, we might need some white. Mm, I don't need pink.
see I just can't now Aunt Beck says when you use the marker don't press down real hard and I don't think I am I need a little highlight in my little girl's eyes here And I need a little bit of, um, I think I need a little bit of blue. Where did I put my, see things are starting to get jumbled here now. Let's do a swirly, swirly gigs here. We'll do that. Well, I don't want to copy totally. We'll do a heart there. Let's do a Tamara star. I love the way she makes stars. She kind of goes like that. Can you see that? Is, if I, am I too far away? I like to color these in. Not all the time, but sometimes. <clears throat> you can say thanks, Barb. Um, oh, here it is. Let's get a little bit of that blue. I'm just going to come across the top of the rye. I think I would like to do maybe this is not such a great idea but I'm going to try it it's just an art page right this is what I keep trying to um, help my girlfriend with it's an art page it's not the end of the world and if it doesn't turn out the way exactly way you like it you do it better the next time or you paint over it that looks a little better giving her a little more um, a little more um, color on her cheeks let's see here we need a couple other little things here how about um, over here we'll do a little half moon maybe that's not turning out so good. That's not good. Let's color that in. Looks like a boat. <laughs> Let's make it a sailboat. Because it really doesn't look like a half moon. And you might say, why well, do we have a sailboat hanging from the sky? Well, it's because we didn't do it very well. Curly pages don't help, do they? She can be a sailor mom. Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon. I have to go over her little heart on her cheek. And darken her pupils. Sometimes.
times Tamara would put big things on there. I don't really think I want to do that though. She needs a little something, something here though. I have a couple of books that when I want to doodle, I go in and I look for ideas because I just am really not a doodler. I think that's very sad. I would like to, like to be, hi, Dixie. I would like to be, and uh, thank you. I would like to be a better doodler. Um, I think we need a flower or something here. Let's, um, let's go like this. Make a flower. I always like three of something. Like something, um, you know, like an odd number. I forgot to use my stamp. I want to use my stamp. Oh, that the stamp will make everything better. Let's put a tattoo on her arm. Oh, what should we put? What kind of tattoo? Oh, Devin, you are such an encourager. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and I need another little, maybe down, maybe this one will just do little, like little beads. Little bubbles, little bubbles. Yeah, that one um, Posca pen needs to be replaced. Barbie got an idea for a tattooer. Tattooer, tattooer. Okay, I'm going to use my navy because I have that out. And it's fairly juicy. And... I don't think my black is so juicy. Okay, so my other live the other day, I was um, doing that little book. Doing the little tabbed book, right? And I used old Tim Holtz bits that I had laying around. And I was saying that... Uh, you know, Tim Holtz stuff can be pricey and, you know, I usually don't buy it unless it's on sale. Okay, so then I go on and I'm looking on Amazon for uh, Tim Holtz journal cards. Because um, Susie the Shabby Soul, she was making the tab little journal like that. And she had all this cute Tim Holtz stuff, right? So... Oh my gosh, I almost passed out. You get a hundred of those journaling, okay, a hundred of those journaling cards for under $10. Okay, just under $10. Okay, I'll give you that. But are you kidding me? So guess what I ordered? A Celtic circle for a tattoo? I don't even know what that looks like, Elise. I'm open, but I don't know what that is. I could look it up, I guess. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, piece de la resistance. Uh, oh, I love my script stamp so much. Oh, sorry, Barb. Okay, honey, I got gotcha. you. 
I just didn't want your idea to be lonely. I didn't want it to be lonely, idea. I could use a stamp. I could have used a stencil in the background too. I'm very pleased with my watercolor background. I think that was just spot on. And I think she needs some script on her face. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. She would look really great if she had some. Um, okay. A tree of life. <laughs> Elise, you are adorable. Okay, let's see. Where's my phone? I know the circles. I would be too anal. Let's see here. Let's have Mama Lori find a tree. That might even be harder. I think my phone's about ready to die. All right, what is the first thing Elise said? Elise said Celtic Circle. Or it's probably Celtic, right? I'm not saying it wrong. Celtic Circle. I worked at a school that we had, I think it was, the emblem was partially a Celtic Circle. Let's see here. Let's look that up. Oh, there, look, it picked it up. Yeah, that's the that's the thing that was. Um, at least that one there was anyway. OK, I could do it in pencil. And then if it's not working out too well, I could redo. Um, yeah, script. I could do the script thing. Or I could just use the little... Um, I have other little stamps here. I just have to be able to get to it. Oh, I was just thinking... Oh. This is the other, okay, two, two things I wanted to ask. Number one, I only have three people, including myself. I have a, uh, on Facebook, a, a Facebook page for my Wordle, my Wordle girls. My, it's Lori's Wordle with friends. I'm looking for more people to join us. In doing a wordle. Look, this is this will work. I'm gonna do this. So if you want me to invite you to do the wordle puzzle each day, and no pressure if you don't do it one day, I'm not coming after you. Okay, I'm just not. But it would be nice if we had more than three people. So I'm looking for people for that. And the other thing is, is there anybody in here? I think I put this on the wrong spot. <laughs> I should have maybe tilted it a little different. <laughs> it looks cute. Um, are there any bird people in here? People that know a lot about birds. I decided I want to try to attract um, here a doodler, not a wordler. Very funny, Dev very funny um i i decided i wanted to tr thanks re i love her too i think she's adorbs i should probably try to straighten up her lips a little bit but it'll be all right it's just my journal page i decided i wanted to try to attract bluebirds okay i would love to see one in person so i went and i bought this cheap bird feeder thing at walmart and i bought the mealworms 
and we've got the bird bath out there and we have a bird house that's on a pole and the crows knocked all the i didn't fill it up i just put like a third of, her, of the worms the uh, mealworms in this feeder and the blackbirds have figured out how to knock it thanks seven how to knock the feeder and get all the worms on the ground and they they got the first batch so then i ordered a different bird feeder it's supposed to be for some smaller birds it's got a little bit of a hood on it it doesn't have much of a perch for them to sit and it's got two plastic walls so only a little bit of the worms come out the bottom and i didn't fill that up either and that's they've hammered that Every time I look out there, I'm chasing the blackbirds. Now, some smaller birds have started to come. If I buy another bird feeder, my husband's going to find me another place to live. Okay. First of all, he doesn't want the bird poop in the garden. Okay. I'm like, dude, it's fertilizer. Right? So now I'm thinking, I wonder if I make some kind of like suet or like peanut butter and mix them worms in it and stick that like in the one feeder. Would that be better? Or do I move the other feeder to the back and put something in there for wild birds and keep them to the back of the yard? Do I give up? I've got three quarters of a bag of mealworms. Okay, it was 14 bucks for the bag. I know. And it's not that I want the blackbirds to starve. I don't. But I just want them to leave, leave alone. So sunflower fruit suet. Can I make my own suet, Dixie? I'll look online. There's probably a recipe, right? Maybe I'll try that. I'll look that up tonight. Maybe I have what I need to. Well, that's true, Re. I keep telling everybody, if you hear somebody screaming, don't be alarmed. It's because Lori got a bluebird. If I get a bluebird, see, it was rain. I don't know what put that. Well, I do know what put it in my head. My younger sister was trying to get bluebirds last year. She's in Philly. And my hairdresser, who's not that far from me, she does get bluebirds, lots of bluebirds. And I was sitting here. It was a kind of a, a overcast day. And I looked out and it looked like, oh, peanut butter and cornmeal. Ooh, okay. It looked like there were bluebirds checking out my birdhouse. And I just got a notion in my head that I want to try to attract the bluebirds. Now, I've gotten finch before, not too many. And we don't have our hummingbird feeder out yet either. I have to put that out yet. But... Okay, that's something I'll work on. All right, girls, I'm going to go spend some time with my neighbor and give her a little lesson on her iPad. I'm going to grab something to eat. So what we did was Shannon Green's background, easy background with markers. And um, you can just maybe re-watch or, or watch the beginning of the stream. It was just really easy to put down some color. And see, it looks really cool because it kind of is coming through her skin, too. You know, if you like this kind of a look. And then I got the image idea from this gal, Karen O'Brien. And this book is Imaginary Characters. I'm going to do more in here. I just love the little faces in this, in this book. So this is my little darling little girl. I want to thank Barb and Lori for being here and being my mods and helping me out today and for all your encouragement and hanging out with me. Don't forget, Mary is on later. Tanya is still traveling. Uh, I don't know if uh, PM Studios is still on. They may still be on. I think they come on around 11 in the morning. And uh, I think that's everything I had to, to tell you. I got to do some work on my channel. I keep forgetting to do my um thumbnails oh gosh 
All right, girls, have a good afternoon. Maybe I'll see you a little later at Murray's. And uh, don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Marie? Who is Marie? I don't know who Marie is. Murray. Sorry, Re. It's my it's my Jersey accent, I guess. My Philly accent. Murray. Murray Autier. The Murray Autier. All right, girls. Toodles.